Hi Spuds and welcome to my bathroom. But the reason why I'm in my bathroom today is because, well, if you can see, my hair needs to be redone. There's some really, really stubborn bits of purple in here that just will not go away. If you've been a subscriber of mine for a while, then maybe you would have seen my video that is about safely stripping color out of your hair. I've had so many questions on that video that I thought I would answer them and do a revamp of that video in this video because to be frank I cannot stand that video. A lot of people ask questions that I'm going to try and answer while doing this video. Pretty much I'm going to be stripping this color out of my hair as best as I can and hopefully this one will be shorter than the other one. If you want to watch that one for some ungodforsaken reason I will link that down below. Quarantine! What you're going to need is some bicarb soda. It's also called baking soda for those of you who are not from Australia. A dishwashing detergent, any kind, it doesn't matter. Anti-dandruff shampoo. The cheapest shampoo you can find. These four ingredients are what you're going to need. All I'm going to do is mix that up to a consistency that is pretty much like shampoo consistency in your hair. It's pretty much whatever you want to do. There's not really any real measurements. You're not too runny because otherwise it is going to drip everywhere. What you need to do with this is plop it onto your hair as if you're putting shampoo in your hair. I thought I'd just give a little disclaimer to say that this stuff is going to dry your hair out quite a lot, but it's nothing that a little bit of a treatment or even some conditioner won't fix, so don't worry too much about that. Okay, so after um, I've just massaged that into my hair so that it's all covered and everything, I've just kind of made it foam up a bit, like so I've massaged it through and like made it all foamy and stuff, and that should react and activate the color removalness. Keep in mind this is only step one, there is one more step to go, and we'll see what happens. All right, so I've washed all that out of my hair. I'm so sorry about the lighting. It just all of a sudden turned into an apocalypse outside, so I've had to use the heat lamp in the bathroom, and so I'm sorry if it looks really shit. Look at this, just have a look. It's pretty damn good. You can do this a few times in your hair if you like. Just as I said, make sure you use conditioner afterwards or a hair treatment because it is going to dry out your hair like a bitch. When I washed it out I used quite warm like really sort of hot water not burning water but when you use hot water it actually opens up the follicles in your hair and the color will drain out a lot faster than if you were to use cooler water. I learned that from my good friend Ellie. You'll see it all in the foam and washing down the bath and everything. You'll see that the color does come out. The next thing that I'm going to do for my hair is called a bleach bath. Now this is just to get rid of all the stubborn bits in my hair. I'm not going to do my roots, I'm just doing the ends just because that's the look that I'm rocking at the moment. In the previous video that I did of stripping hair color, from your hair. I use like peroxide and developer. This time I'm actually going to show you that you don't actually need to just buy all of that. I actually have just a box bleach thing here and I'm going to use that. Okay so because this is a box dye I am literally just following the instructions of what it is telling me to do. Pretty sure they're all similar. I'm just mixing the cream in with the developer at the moment. So make sure you get all of that in there. Start putting in the booster now, which is pretty much the peroxide, if you're using peroxide. And now just shake it on up. And I just then put it into the bowl because then we're going to add the shampoo. And just put in like as much shampoo as you like, however strong or weak you want the bleach to be. That should be the consistency, like so. Okay, so I'm just kind of slathering this all into my hair, like I said before, trying my hardest to um, avoid my roots, but it's not really happening. But, you know, just to show how unharmful this method is, 
I actually put got some on my roots accidentally and it did nothing. It didn't even make them orange or anything. So if that's anything to go by. It's just to prove how like unharmful this method is. Um, just make sure that when you're doing this that you look and check the colour quite regularly. Don't just leave it in and walk away like you would normal bleach. Um, if you see, as I'm doing this, the colour is actually coming out as I'm putting the stuff in. So just make sure you keep an eye on that so you don't like burn your hair or over bleach it or whatever. Well, spuds, here we go. This is the end product. Uh, uh, this whole blondness is amazing and I love it and wow, I'm, I'm so excited that it works amazingly. So there you go. That's the updated version of how to safely strip colour out of your hair. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you want me to do more videos like this, tell me down below what you want. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. You can also ask me questions or just add me for a chat on all my social networking sites, which are downstairs in my tits. That's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much. Soya! I'm gonna kinda do a get ready with me. Please feel sorry for me. I have nowhere to live and my husband, me and my unborn child are really desperate kind of look today.